हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदादीप आई हॉस्पिटल पी जी टीचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट एंड फेको एस आई सी एस ट्रेनिंग सेंटर सांगली महाराष्ट्र इंडिया इन अवर सेंटर वी हैव लॉट ऑफ टीचिंग एक्टिविटीज विच इंक्लूड्स हैंड्स ऑन ट्रेनिंग एज वेल इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू डू हॉरिजोंटल चॉप in a very very simplified way step by step i am going to use my own chopper patwadan chopper which is 1.5 mm long and the biggest hesitation whenever i am doing horizontal chop is the fear that i will tear or damage the anterior capsular edge or the ccc edge there and that's why whenever i am doing a horizontal chop where i am trying to go around the equator my uh, the anxiety is when i pass this chopper across the anterior capsule you can see that i tend to tent it up a bit or you know that's that's the reason why i don't use horizontal chop in most of my cases i prefer vertical chop but i just tried out a slightly modified maneuver here so this is a soft grade 1 to 2 cataract so first i have made a half trench here and just watch how i move the chopper across that feco tip so the chopper is going under the capsule mind you this is a 1.5 mm long and it doesn't have a sharp end so that's good now move this uh, 1.5 mm chopper under the anterior capsule through the least resistance path which means that it is it, it is you are between the epinucleus and the capsule if you feel resistance that is not the right place you are so if you are going through the least resistant path that means you are not entering the epinucleus but you are between the cortex and the capsule which is good and once you move it across now the chopper tip is right in front of uh, your feco tip and now i am keeping the chopper tip as far as possible vertical and then it moves towards the feco tip where i have already put it at the end of that uh, half trench and then i can easily crack this nucleus into two half and mind you i have not used any vacuum uh, no energy it is just mechanical chop again now watch the same steps for the second chop and you can see that as i move across the nucleus itself rotates so it uh, brings the nucleus in the right position just by that movement across circumferential movement across the uh, the edge of the equator there and that makes it very very easy and very very uh, i would say fast in workflow again you can watch for the third chop it moves so as you go under the capsule and go into that space between the cortex and the epinucleus the, it also moves the nucleus a bit and uh, it uh, presents in a proper you know direction in front of the feco tip here I, you could see that i had resistance so that means it was not in the right place and then i placed in the right place and i could chop uh, the you know nucleus into pieces and uh, the great thing about uh, these mechanical chops is that uh, you are in a better control over the nucleus you can safeguard the zonules you don't have to uh, depend on the feco machine to hold the nucleus so for uh, machines which have lesser hold or you cannot use high vacuum i think this uh, technique you must master so you can use any machine and you can do these mechanical chops and then uh you know remove the pieces at the center and you can see such a low energy use i'm sure in the next or you are going to try it and let me know how it works thank you